All the good praise here today. We're going we're gonna to have a good time. Let, let, let the Holy Ghost lead us the way it wants to lead us. Praise the Lord. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Another day the Lord has made. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Glory to God, Lord, for, for protecting the lights, Lord. Glory to God, Lord, just for a few minutes this morning, Lord. Glory to God, but Lord, but one day it's going to be darkness. Hallelujah, glory to God. But you know, when the, uh, 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 Lord, but one thing about it, but that light of you, Lord, will keep us lighted up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you today, Lord, as we pray for this service. We come to honor you this morning. We come to glorify your name today, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for the one that came out this morning. We give you the praise for that, Lord. Glory to God. Bless them. the other one that walks through that door today, Lord. Coming in and going out, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, if you, if you, if you see, Lord, anything today, Lord, Lord, that we, that we uh, need special, Lord, just let it loose, Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah, Lord. But we call on your name today. Lord, bless up a song, of a testimony. And, and Lord, thank you for the message that we're going to be bringing forth here today. And we thank you, Lord, because it's you, Lord. It's, in, it's all in your hands, Lord. Lord, we pray for the others out yonder today, Lord. We pray for those that are struggling today. We pray for them that heal today, Lord. And glory to God. We just call on that name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name this morning. And we love you, Lord. We give you the praise and honor in Jesus' name today. Lord, let this service, let, let this service travel through these walls. This word, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we give you honor and glory. Of the one that's here, we thank you, Lord. What you're going to do us today for us, Lord? Just keep a mind on you, Lord. And in you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. You got song books this morning. We can sing them together. Uh, page 45. Mansion over the hilltop. That's a good song. Oh, you be like. Praise the Lord. Page 45. Song been around for years.
do it. Who else got a song? Somebody stand and testify this morning. Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise the Lord. I'm just glad to be here again this morning. Just, I thank you, good Lord, just gave me strength again. This, this weather is really getting to my lungs, this cold weather. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord take care of me, brother. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, amen. Who else got a testimony? Why sit the phone to get the song ready? I want to thank the Lord for all this money, blessings, for loving me, for saving my soul, yes. protecting me, never leaving me, nor forsaking me. Amen. And how you can see how his word is coming to pass more and more and more. And he's closer now than he ever was oh, that's right. before. Oh, yes. So the world better wake up and that's look right. at the signs that are going around. That's right. Because the Bible predicts what's going to happen. Exactly. And it's going to get closer and closer right. before yeah. disasters hit. And it's mm -hmm. going to get harder mm -hmm. and harder and dangerous out there. Yeah. And you're going to need him to keep you safe and protected. Yes, that's right. And when yes. the demonic forces get stronger and stronger, you better know what name to call that's on right. to get rid of them. You better call on the name of Jesus that's right. or you in trouble. That's right. Amen. And you better have a close relationship with him and truly, truly know him as your oh, Savior. Oh, that's for sure. To take care of you mm -hmm. and protect you. Amen. That's we got to know that we saved. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> Sister Wanda? You still checking? Still checking. I'm checking <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Calvin? You want to say something good to the Lord now, Brother Calvin? I'll, I'll, I'll just Come ask you a here. question. <laughs> I love your questions. <laughs> I know you got something good to say this morning. Some, sometimes you want to sound off <laughs> yeah. because of what the nonsense going on in the world. And last week I mentioned about the knowledge shall increase. When people talk about the signs of the end yeah. times, mm -hmm. does it say that all knowledge will be good? Mm -hmm. No. So here's the question now that hit me this week: <coughs> What is the best-selling book in the world and the least read? The Bible. Bible. Exactly. And why is it the least read? Because people don't want to live by there's, what it says. There's so many distractions out mm -hmm. there with yeah. knowledge. I, I talk about the disciples uh, 2,000 years ago giving the Gospel Commission. They didn't have planes, trains, cars, cell phones, and any any other. It, I mean, this was really primitive. Right. What they had to go out. And what do we have today? We got everything. We got everything. Everything, right? And we got everything we need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we use it intelligently, right? Yes, right. Exactly. Yeah. So, what it comes down to, if you ask the average Joe or Jane out there what they know about certain things, what do you think they'll say? And when you mentioned about the Lord's coming, I got into a conversation this week with one, just briefly, and uh, he. I don't know what y'all believe uh, totally about this, but he, he, one was about once saved, always saved, and oh I, I, I went through that, just, just, that didn't take long, <laughs> that didn't take long, I said, if that's true, Hitler would be in heaven, right? That, that's right. That's a, so, but I asked him also, I said, you know, uh, he, he believed in secret rapture, mm, yeah. so I said, well, what if you're on a plane and the pilot gets raptured, who's going to drive, the, who's going to fly the plane, right? And he goes, oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> but, you know, it, uh, that's a, that just goes to show you, people aren't reading their Bible. That's it. That's right. it. And of, of, of all the big surprises that I've heard and seen recently, you flip them through the religious channels. You look at the news and you mm -hmm. thought, well, that guy's talking about the second coming. And there, there's a minister on the television talking about the secret rapture. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. what Bible is he reading? Right. right. I didn't know there was a Forrest Gump University. And a, and a Forrest Gump version of the Bible. <laughs> so, so, so I had to ask in a conversation with my friend there. Uh, if the Lord's coming is secret, why does Thessalonians and also every eye shall see him? Exactly. Okay. How is that secret? That's right. Or with a shout. And with the voice of the anchor, with the trump of God. Now, how is that going to be silent and secretive? You know, we like, and he goes, you know, you got, you got a point there. And I said, you know, uh, the Bible, that's why we're encouraged to study the Bible. Mm -hmm. And we put subjects together. Sometimes, I've done it uh, once or twice, but I tend to, st instead of read the Bible cover to cover, which is it's a good thing, I like to study by subjects. Yes. Because that way you get more informative because right. you can take something out of context. Mm -hmm. 
and I told this guy, you know, for example, you know how you, you, know how you can really take something really grossly out of context? Suicide. You say, and Judas went out and hung himself. Go and do thou likewise. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. And I say, that's pure nonsense right there. Right. So you can make the Bible say anything yeah. if you want it to. That's right. But what you need is, and we, we mention it a lot here, and I'm, I'm glad because a lot of churches don't mention it. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's it. Mm -hmm. And he, mm -hmm. you know what? We're waiting on him, but you know what? The Holy Spirit's waiting on us. That's, That's right. It. That's it. And well, you know what? And people, they need to, they need less distractions and to get into the Word. Because yes. where the Word is, is where the Holy Spirit's mm -hmm. going to be. And we need to depend on him so that we can understand and be ready. He's, he's told us what events. He's given us the, the pieces of the puzzle. But we have to put it together. Mm -hmm. that's, so that's, that's, that's a prayer. Let's that's, do that's, it. That's, Let's that's do exactly it. Exactly right. That's it right there. Amen. Praise we the Lord. Isn't that something that before before you came in, Brother Calvin, I was talking with Brother Frank and Melissa about that. Every eye shall see him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's something. What do you like to sing, Sister? She got a mic. Um. Turn it on. That it got you in my mouth. Ripped on. Praise the Lord. But, but when you when we get talking to people about that, that good news, that's when the devil gets mad. That's when he's trying, he's trying to come back at us. Or they'll avoid you. They want to avoid you. Yes. Melissa. You know. Yes. But you know, even people, they don't want to hear no, no good news today. I'm talking about Christians. Seems like you don't want to get saved, that's all of them. But it's not. We've got to work to stay saved. Yeah, we've got to keep on working at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. You want this key? Where do you want it? Mm -hmm. The chimes of time. <laughs>
I love her singing. Yes, amen. She, she's really good. The Lord yeah, is going to bless her. Yeah, we're going to finish right I'll try following you. Well, uh, it's, it's okay. I'll, we'll She'll pick it, you up. She'll we'll give on. it a go. <laughs> oh, listen, for Stephen, your dream. got your Bibles with you today, we're going to go over to John, St. John, the sixth chapter. Some things, the miracles that the, the man called Jesus did, they still didn't believe him. Hallelujah. I do. I can almost all go ahead and preach without reading any more of it, but you know, go over to God. But, um, the, the, the matter today is more like when Jesus feeds the 5,000. Amen. Amen. Six. Hallelujah. And some of them that ate, but the, 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 uh, the 
these fish and loaves. Hallelujah. They still come back at him, you know, you know, and they ask him, oh boy. And, Je and you know, and Jesus, Jesus seen, you know, glory to God, you know, that you know that they, they sat down and ate the loaves and the fishes and still didn't, didn't, didn't believe in the, uh, in the, in the murder. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, anybody can take, a, 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 I think it was four or five loaves of, a, a, a bread and two fishes and feed 5,000 people, brother. But, they, 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 you know, he, you know, we, we, he can do it all. We, you know, we, we, can, we can be just like him, though. Jesus said that we have the same power that he had. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. You know, he said he gave us that there's a, a, a seed size of a mustard seed. He said, we, you know, that we, got, we have faith that glory to God and believe we can move that mountain. Amen. Yeah. We can move that mountain. Yeah. Brother Turrell, he was in, a, in, in, in one of his tent revivals. And the Lord spoke to him, and he got to tell him the Lord, and he got to tell him the people, hallelujah, and he definitely, he said, Lord, let me see that mountain move. He said, I got the faith, and I know your word is true. And he actually, he said, look at the one that you see that mountain slide down. Amen. Lord moved it. Mm -hmm. Because, and why? Brother Turrell, he believed. Mm -hmm. He believed, Brother Frank. That is something today that we're not doing anymore is believing in the Word of God. That's right. If we was believing in the Word of God, we'd be living a life different than what we live. Yes. I'm on now. Amen. I believe in preaching the Bible. I believe in preaching what Jesus gives me. Mm -hmm. I believe in that we got to, we, you know, we got to live by it. You know, we got to walk by it. Yes. You know, we got to let people see that we are different than they are. You know, until we let people see that we different than they are, brother Tyron, we not gonna get souls saved. You know, the, 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 you know, we live in this world, but we not of this world. Yes. Lord, to put us over in, in His world, yes. amen. amen. We not out in the filthy world no more. Mm -hmm. We're all on the clean side, yes. amen. Yes. Cause, Cause the Lord said He done clean us up, made us white as snow. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord, and worst our sins away and forgot about it. Amen. I don't believe in that thing. Once saved, always saved. Yeah. I don't. I, I cannot find that in the Word of God. Not in this ten, uh, King James version Bible anyhow. That's right. They might have it nerve. Right. But you ain't got a King James Bible today, folks. You ain't got no Bible. That's right. Amen. I believe that. I done been that. Hallelujah. But this one, uh, Jesus here, they don't go over to God. I'm, I'm going to read a little bit off and on here and I'm going to preach as I go. <clears throat> this one, them. Almost a walking message today. Hallelujah. Said, after these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of, of Tyrus. And the great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles, <laughs> which he did on them that was deceived. And Jesus went up into the mountain. He loved the mountain. Yes. I do too. I, I love the mountain. Man, you get out there and all the, <laughs> uh, the birds and squirrels and stuff, you know, but they, and you get up uh, something about that mountain. That seems like the higher you get up, the more the, the more you feel that you're close to home. Hallelujah. Jesus went up into the mountains. And there he sat. There he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. But said, when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company coming to him, he said unto Philip, Which shall we buy bread that these may eat? And he said, To prove him, and, he, and this he said to prove him, him, for he himself knew what he would do. Do what he can do. So Philip answered and said, 200 pennies worth of bread is, is not specific for them. That other one of them may take a little. But one of, the, of the, his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which had five barley loaves, listen to this now, and two small fishes, 
But what are they among so many? But here's what Jesus, this is what makes it, what makes it. Jesus said, make the men sit down. He getting better to papyrus something here, folks. Amen. He getting better, he getting better to do a miracle. Put them five loaves of bread and two little fish. Mm -hmm. Man, I mean that, I mean he did that, that was a miracle. Mm -hmm. yep. And that miracle that he did back in them days, he's he, he still doing them miracles today. Yes. Amen. The miracles has not stopped. That's right. It's the people that stopped. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, glory to God. That's a powerful miracle, church. Anybody can take a five loaves and, 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 and we, we ain't got done here yet. I mean, it's a, it's a miracle and a half here. It's more than a miracle. Glory to God. You know, I, I love it because, I, you know, I, I, the miracles that Jesus has did in my life reminds me a whole lot of this message. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, it's it been miracles done in my life. It's been, uh, 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 I mean, it. y'all, I know testimony so many times, but what he said, and glory to God, said two loads and two loads. And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. And down there was much grass in the place. And the men sat down and number about 5,000. My goodness, talk about two little fishes. With well, Lord of mercy, two wouldn't even fill me up. I had to get my pole and go back to the river. Hallelujah. But see, Jesus had pole and the, the, the fishes already down. Amen. Hallelujah. That miracle. How to come in? Listen, listen to me, folks. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Jesus took them loaves, took the loaves, and when he had given thanks to the disciples, to thanks, he distributed to the disciples and the, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. And when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Gather up, listen, what, what, what's to gather up? Five loaves and two fishes. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm coming to a point here. Hallelujah. Y'all, y'all believe how you, uh, believe that uh, there's a miracle uh, going to be worked in this? Yeah. Hallelujah. As, I, as I'm reading here this morning, <laughs> glory to God. You know, think back. Think back in your mind what I just read. You know, five loaves of bread and, and two little fishes. This, you got to have belief. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Together up that, and, and that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets of fragments of the five barley loaves which remained over and above them that was, was eaten. The, then those men that would, had been seen the miracle that Jesus did said, this is a proof that the prophet that should come into the world. Hallelujah. And when Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by a force to make him a king, departed again into the mountain. Jesus he had to go back to the mountain again. He, go, he went down to pray. But go back. Go back to this message. There's no way in the world that you and I could have had five loaves of bread and sat down with two little fishes and feed 5,000 people. But he did it. Mm -hmm. He did it. He knew, he knew what he was doing. He, 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 he wanted to show people what we can do with a little bit mm -hmm. that we can make a big amount out of it. Yes. Amen? Amen? But you know, in, in order to, you know, we, he, we can have a dollar in our pocket, but Jesus can fix it. He can prosper, uh, go with the God, and make that one dollar bill turn into a thousand dollar bill. Yes, that's, right. that's the kind of God that we Amen. serve in the day. Amen. But we got to let people know that go with the God, that we got to have that want to in us. We got to have that get up and go in us yes. to go after it. We ain't going after what Jesus has for us today. Amen. You know, these, these 5,000 men, they came and they sat down in that field. They sat down in that grass. They knew that glory to God. What the, you know, what the, the, some, some still didn't believe. Hallelujah. I ain't done here yet. But glory to God. But what I'm saying today, you, you, we got 
this, this, this word today, we got believers, we got unbelievers. Thank God how many believers I got in the house today. I glory to God. I'm just so thankful today that we believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And this miracle, that was a miracle, uh, folks. And I mean, Jesus Christ took in five loaves and them little two little fishes and fed 5,000 people. Hallelujah. 5,000. Not five, but 5,000 people. Hallelujah. And we've been to Julie and I were just made this other night. Hallelujah. And Jesus, the Spirit hit me on this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Last night was something else, but glory to God. I'm telling you that this here is something that we got to look at today and look at ourselves and look, I mean, look on the inside and see are we really believing in Jesus? Are we really believing? Are we really believe that he can do a miracle here today? Amen. I know he can. Yep. What other we may need. Right. But even his disciples. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me see. And even now, the, 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 Jesus. My goodness, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when the evening was now come, his disciples went down into the, to the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea towards heaven. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. Was not come to them. And the sea rose by reason of a, of a great wind that blew. So when they had rolled about five to twenty or thirty furlongs, they seen Jesus walking on the sea. We, we gonna, we're going to get down here and get Amen. And gone nigh into the ship. And they were afraid. They dark and hear they, something. They look out and they see something walking in. Walking on the water. Hallelujah. If I wasn't saved, I would have been scared too. <laughs> Amen. Some of them were saved and still didn't believe. Yep. <laughs> Hallelujah. Man, how I, I mean, you don't believe you see something in your own eyes that's happening. Man, something's wrong somewhere. Well, you'll never believe. You'll never believe. Jesus did this just to see how many believers was in the crowd that, that knowing that he can work a miracle. My goodness. Hallelujah. But he said it to them, it is I. Be not afraid. Amen. This is I. This was Jesus. Then they will and received him into the ship, and then immediately the ship was at the land, at the land where they went. Okay. Now we're going to get over the nitty gritty. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But folks, we all know that Jesus is the bread of life. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen? amen. We do know that. Yep. All right. So today, following when the people were stood on the other side of the sea, saw there was none other folk there, save that with one, wherein to his disciples was entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat. But one, but that, his disciples was gone away alone. How about there came boats from Tyrus nigh into the place where they did eat bread. This, this, this is what I want to get to. Did eat bread. And after that the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, Near his disciples, they took, they also took shipping and came to Raven and sitting for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when comes thou hither? Jesus said unto them, and Jesus answered, said unto them, Burly, burly, I say unto you, ye seek me. Not because you saw the miracles, listen now, but because you did eat of the loaves and were what? Filled. Filled. 
filled, not empty, but filled. Hallelujah. So labor not, labor not for the meat which person, person, but for the, that meat which endure into other lives of life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. Then said they to him, What shall we do that we might work the work of God? Jesus answered, said, This is the work of God that you believe on him whom he has sent. Mm -hmm. Believing in the Son Jesus. Amen. You, get, you, get, you, get, you can hear people today, glory to God, talk to them, they, they will talk about miracles, what happened in the life. Next thing you know, you, uh, uh, the, the Christian world today, glory to God, you know, they, they don't got they don't got souls that don't believe. You know, they, they say, well, I wait on the Lord. I know the Lord will do it. Hallelujah, glory to God. And you know, you can hear him say, well, I meant, I meant for a few weeks and I, I just decide on, you know, I never got no answer from the Lord. I just decide on and do what I had to do, glory to God. And you know, we, hey, that's giving up on God. We don't give up on God. We want to get closer to God. Amen. 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 And you know, and I've I, I seen a lot, of, a lot of failure in my time because of giving up on the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't give up. We get up and go at it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. But you know, who in the world would put a man over Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, I have waited. I mean, waited, waited, waited till I got my answer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, I pray that uh, a miracle. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Jesus is full of miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I have waited. And Brother Jay, uh, I ain't getting in all that what he waited for. But you know, he he, he trusted the Lord for 20 years to get his answer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When that 20, that end of that 40 years, the answer came right there. But that man, he said, he knew that if anybody can work a miracle, that he can see his daughter again, he would see that girl again. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, you know, at the end of that 20 years, his daughter, he showed up to him and go over to God. And boy, I mean, imagine what that would be. Hallelujah, after that many years, Brother Frank, I, I don't know what I would have done. I, I thought would have just tripped and cried, you know, and the hug and told him, welcome back to, to me, God, you know, go over to God. But you know, that was a miracle. Hallelujah. He, he, Cause you know, but 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 Brother Jay didn't have no doubt. He didn't have no doubt in his in, in his in his life to doubt that, 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 that God couldn't work a miracle to send her back home. Hallelujah. Go over to God. This is what I'm trying to preach on today. I'm talking about miracles, folks, that we losing out on because we put man before Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's what's going on today. Jesus has put nothing before me. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. And that's what's going on. Uh, but we got to pray. You know, the, the praying, we're not doing enough of it. Amen. Fasting, we're not pushing the plate away. Amen. Enough. Hallelujah, glory to God. I, you know, I got a lot, lot of days, you won't catch me eating nothing but to do the supper. The, the, she asked me, I, go, I walk in the house. I, she said, you want me to fix this up? I said, no, these couple meals are going to be for the Lord today. Yeah. So, and she's my witness. Hallelujah. That, 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 hey, I give it to the Lord because I need some something from the Lord. I, we need something from the Lord of the day. Yeah. You know, Brother Kevin, I found out years ago, that's the only way we're going to get our answers answered. Mm -hmm. if it's prayer and fast. Because yeah. Jesus said, pray and fast. Amen. Hallelujah. To get what we really need. If you, if you need a miracle in your life today, folks, we already done seen one of the biggest miracles could ever happen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And some of them still didn't believe. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you one day, we got to get belief back in the church. We got to get belief, like like the brother said last week. This the, the building, we the church. Mm -hmm. We got to get belief to, and bring it back to the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah! Believe in, believe in our in, in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! He'll never do us no harm. You know, He comes to help us. Amen. In anything that we need, I don't care what it is. You know, go over to God, and you know, and what will. He said, well, of your eggs, follow my name, I do it. Yes. You know, and that's something that we gotta we gotta think about today. You know, but we get sometimes 
we, we get we, we get up and no enemy he got he got a mind focusing and, and, and different things hallelujah and I, hey I'm telling you that, that, that he will he'll do anything he can to interfere mm -hmm. with, with the word of God Amen. hallelujah he'll do anything he can to interfere with you too, before you can get that touch that you need from the Lord right. but let me tell you something today folks we got power that we can stomp his old head every time, time that he come at us hallelujah but, you know and we got power that we can knock him down to do it mm -hmm. hallelujah praise the Lord. I'm telling you today, glory to God, there's nothing like Jesus Christ, Amen. our Amen. Lord and Savior and our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I mean, there's a this lot this in this one chapter here, but my goodness. That's why I read most of it so we can understand it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And they said, therefore, unto him, what sign shows thou then that, that we may see and believe thee what thou do thy work? He did not know what done seen him. Took right. 5,000 5, people and, and, and see if I, I'm coming back. Like God confirms his work. Mm -hmm. He confirms his uh, message. Hallelujah. But you know, glory to God. And you know, that, that Brother Cameron, they all would have seen the man that fed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fishes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And said, do thy work. And our fathers did eat man and in the desert and his wit, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. But then Jesus said, Burly, burly, I said unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gave you the true bread from heaven. Mm -hmm. Him. Yes. Jesus. Praise the Lord. He's the bread of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. You hear me? Mm -hmm. He's the bread of life. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Preachers not be not preachers not be not getting in the word of God and giving people what they really need no more. People that need this today, they, they need this kind of preaching. They need something that's gonna that's gonna touch the heart. They need something where they can reach out and grab it. They, they, they you know when you preach something like this here and they hungry for the Lord, they gonna receive yes. something from the Lord. But we, we get, and this is this to make me hungry right here myself by preaching it this morning. Yes. Hallelujah, glory to God! What Jesus can do. I mean, praise the Lord. That's nothing. Hallelujah. For the bread of God, for the bread of God is is He which cometh down from heaven and giveth life into the world. <clears throat> All we got to do is ask to, to come into our heart. Yes, that's right. He tells us over in John, you know, he, he said, you know what? Jesus said, it, he said, I didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but look, look how, look, look how folks are getting condemned today. Not to condemn the world, but you can have life and have more abundantly. He, he loved, he loved, he, he came to, to save our souls. He come and to save our souls and keep us from going to that place called hell. Amen. Amen. And that right there, that, that's, a, that's, that's something today that we should be praising him for Amen. at all times. Know this path that we're on, knowing that we can make heaven our home. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, that, 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 that what we're striving for today. I'm not here this morning, you know, just to be here. I'm here today to, 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 to accept what he said in his word and get more of it and get more stronger in it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. By, by eating it. Hallelujah. Eat it and digest it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. You know, just like, you know, hallelujah. When we eat food, we got to digest it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just like Jesus' word. Hallelujah. When we read it, we eating it. Hallelujah. Digest it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Something that's going to stick with you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. From, you know, when we, when, when we eat that bread of life, hallelujah, it'll keep you from filling your gut up over a couple hours. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It'll keep you empty so you can stay hungry more for the Lord. And, you know, when we're all full and, and, and you know, we don't feel
give myself up. But, 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 uh, 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 all that, all that uh, 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 basic stuff, some of it. Hallelujah, glory to God. And you know, hallelujah. And we, we get misery. And we, you know, we, sit, we lay back. Oh, I feel so bad. That's, called, that's what you get when you glut. See, they, uh, hallelujah. These people here in this place, uh, this miracle today, they didn't have you no know, glutton. It was plenty to die for the whole world. They wanted hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. So Jesus was in it. Jesus Christ was in it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, we got preachers that get up to Brother Frank. I, hey, man, I, I, the Lord showed me so many things in my time. Hallelujah. They get up on the pulpit and, and go over to God and they preach. And next thing you know, they, they, they be preaching about uh, uh, gluttony. And, and you know, that's sin. Hallelujah. And you know, and, you, and, and the Lord was sending you to the same place that some of them go to eat. Hallelujah, boy. They'd be rolling eyes around at you. Hallelujah. Of uh, mine, then next thing you know, they'd be, they'd be standing down with the congregation, not all of them, but part of them. And they get rubbing that belly. Oh, my, I should make some up. And they done preached on it that morning. Uh, but, you know, and here it is. A glory of rubbing that belly. Oh, I, 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 I just ate a little bit too much. Hallelujah. And you know, I said, my goodness. You won't see me rubbing my belly. I said, I ate too much. The Lord stopped me. Amen. I can honestly say that. I, I see them being up to places where we sat down and eat, and I said, I can't go no farther. Mm -hmm. I'm not going one spoon more. If I do, I'm always doing it. When he said he worked my sins away, folks, he worked them away. Amen. He worked them away. Yes. I live this life as straight as I can. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. No, I'm not Mr. Perfect. People look at me like I'm Mr. Perfect. No, I'm not Mr. Perfect. But I know one that is. Yes. Amen. I know one that is. And we got to strive to be like that. Yes. We got to strive to be like that. I'm here to preach the gospel to see people get set free. Not to stay bound, but set free. And the way we're doing it here, Lord, Lord knows what he's doing. I think this is going to be the end time church right here. Amen. But people are going to go into to get what they really need to make themselves ready. I mean, ready, ready. Yes. The people think they're ready, but they're not ready. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But when you ask folks, you, are you sure you're ready? Well, I hope so. I hope so ain't going to do it. No. Hope so no. is not going to do it. We got to know in our heart that we are ready. Ready, ready. Church is not preaching no more. They're telling them, get ready. They should have been ready a long time ago. Amen. Long time ago, they should have been ready. My goodness. You can't wait till the, when you when you bust a cloud and come and you see the folks going on like a ribbon to get ready. They're too late. Yeah. It's going to be that way. It's going to be that way for a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people are going to be lost. Because of what's coming off the pulpit. Brother Frank, the day that the day that I couldn't strive to, to and, and, and try to be like him, the day that I'm gonna do things and know it's wrong, I'm not gonna keep doing it. I walk away. Mm -hmm. I made up my mind what it did for me. And what this word has done in my life and what it has brought me from to cause dead on the scene and, and he proved to the folks that no it wasn't my time to go he done the healing he put me back together the way I needed to be to preach his gospel a murder a murder preacher on the pulpit of a Friday night and Sunday morning, Amen. Sunday morning. Lord. Something that the Lord did like that. But it took a prior to do it. Yes. And believers. Mm -hmm. When that doctor, he knew he believed in miracles. He come all this up a couple months after I got through, I could, you know, begin to hear all this stuff. Skin come from my eyes. I began to 
let people know what they've seen by the miracle that the Lord was working. Amen. But that doctor, he was a good doctor. He was a he was a, he was the Lord's man. Amen. The Lord gives you the best, brother Cap. He gives us the best. He told me, he said, man, it wasn't. I mean, I, I think about this thing all the time. I try to help people with this testimony. If the Lord raised me from the dead, He can sure save a lost soul. Amen. He can sure save a lost soul. That down in the day. And that, that doctor said, he said, he called me Brother Frazier. I mean, right there. I mean, he said, man, he said, I've been, I've been, I've been working with you, doing my best for the Lord gave me to do with. He said, now, he said, I'm going to tell you all of your comeback. He said, when I, it was eight of us, he said. And he said, all, it's all them fire warriors that was there. He said, I pray about the Lord. But he said, I, I had never seen this in, in my time of, of being a doctor. But he said, my goodness, he said, when they got praying, and right back at, at, as, as he was speaking that word, and said, Jesus, you said we were healed. We asked him now to open his eyes and let him be made whole. He said, boy, he said, my eyes began to blink. He said, that put him closer to God than he owed to me. Amen. It would have been too. Mm -hmm. But I said, well, I just thank the Lord for the miracle that he did. Amen. Yes. I ain't getting into the car right now, but not this time. But I take this testimony when, when I go out of another, another big state. I seen people run to the altar. I seen them run to the altar. I told him, I said, you know, he, said, he, he bought me. He's done a work on my life. And I said, you know, he can sure save your soul. If you lost. But anyway, that's why we got to make sure that we're not putting anything in between us and the Lord. Amen. That's, right. that's what they're doing today, folks. Yeah. And that's sin. We got to be careful about this. Yes. <clears throat> we got to really be careful. I had I a, a, a Christian boss I stand right there in my face and tell me. They said, God is a forgiving God. I said, yeah, but he, did he tell you keep on sinning? I said, you want me to open up a scripture out of my heart and give it to you? And I will give him a scripture. I said, he said, go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. That's hey, that, that first thing they tell you. Well, he's a forgiving God. I said, you're marking him though. You know, when you get, I said, he, he don't worship your sins, right? And I mean, to see and forgot about him. I said, then you're sinning and you keep going you, and, and ask him to forgive you? Sure, he's a forgiving God. But man, we don't go out and do something. And he got it written right in his word. He said, we all know right from wrong. Amen. If we're doing things wrong, we ain't going to get that merciful. He ain't going to do that merciful. He see, because it ain't coming from the heart. What we do, folks, he's he looking at his serious. He's looking at serious folks. He look, he's looking at people that really, really love him, that really appreciate what he come for. Mm -hmm. That you know, that knowing that no other man in the world could do what he did. Knowing that nobody else could have done what he did. But when he come into this world, hallelujah, glory to God, he came for that purpose to save you. Yours and my soul. I think a lot of God do with it today. People, when they go to the altar, when they said they repented and confessed, they never confessed it. We got to go all the way with it. We just don't come up here and say, Lord, I repent. What are you repenting for if you don't say that? that no, I'm going to confess it. In, all, in the sin of all my sins, Lord, as you, Lord, to save my soul. 
They repenting, but they ain't confessing. Nobody comes to altar, folks. I leave that to them and the Lord. But nobody comes to altar. They don't get up and make, make my save. Preachers ain't to say they got 25 or 30 saved on a Sunday morning. That's between them and God. But how does he know he got saved? That's ain't right. one person know that that person got saved, that Jesus Christ. Amen. That preacher don't know. That's right. He just does that to make himself look good. And just up his hidden baby. <laughs> well, Frank, you know I preach the truth. I know you do, Pastor Dave. I'm not, I don't back down from it. That's right. I got, I got power behind me that I can stand Amen. on. That good old Holy Ghost power. Amen. Hallelujah. That Holy Ghost. <laughs> Something that, boy, I can knock that devil down. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Dodging bullets. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't mean to, I don't mean to do that. Like I say, Amen. Lord know how to make to keep it. He'll, he'll, he'll move you out of the way all the time. That's right. Hallelujah. He's a protection. Yeah, amen. 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 Thank God we got somebody who can protect us. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to get on down in serious business here now, folks. Amen. It's for the bread of God is which coming down from heaven and give it life into the, into the world. Then said they to him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Jesus said unto them, I am that bread. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hungry. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Here we go back believing. We got to, what my magic is to do today. We got to believe. We got to really believe that what he said in his word and accept it. Yes. Hallelujah. And, and keep our faith in him at all times and put that belief with it. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yes. He said this. He said the bread that you know are like that coming that we are never hungry. And that believe on me is another thirst. But he said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. Here we go back to the, the miracles that he, that he, that he, that he did. And, and they even see Jesus work miracles and believe not. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't come here today not to believe. I come here to believe Amen. what Jesus had here for us today. Amen. Amen. That's just like us coming here this morning. That we, we didn't come to believe today. Why? Why would you want to come? Amen. That's right. Why would you want to come? Mm-hmm. Don't take up somebody else's space when you when you when, you, when you're not serious. That's right. Jesus looking for serious people. Yes. That's right. He looking for people that he can trust. Mm-hmm. Yep. He looking at people that he know that can take his word out into the world and get souls saved. Yeah. That's what he's looking for. Yeah. We can't get, we cannot get souls saved if we not lived in the eyesight. That's right. Amen. I had people look at me one time and say, but first you got a lot of family, why ain't your family come to your church? I said, they're not ready to hear what they've got to hear when they come. That's right. They ain't ready to uh, let the Lord clean them up like he did me. Amen. They're not ready for it. I don't pour it down the throat. I don't beat it down. But this is a clean life that we got to live. Yes. Yeah. Ain't no sloppy life. This thing is serious. Mm-hmm. Jesus was serious. You and I got to get serious. That's mm-hmm. right. I hope somebody that don't let Facebook land hear this today. We got to get serious. That's Amen. Now, one of the dull moments in what he got speaking here in this word. All 100% right. Amen. And believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Amen. Regardless who we are, he come. Let me tell you. For I come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. 
And this is the Father's will which has sent me that all which he had given me I should lose nothing but should rise it up again in the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, the other one which sees the Son and believing on him may have everlasting life and I will rise him up in the last day. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. There's something in here I was going to get a, get a hold of. Then, then said the Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. Always somebody got a complaint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always somebody got a one the mouth, not knowing what they got what they got, you know, what they're gonna say is the true right way of saying it. It's always somebody that goes to God. You know, it, it wasn't only the Sadducees and the Pharisees in, in the Word of God. Jesus' own people didn't believe him. Hallelujah. After they seen what he did. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, that's you know that's something now, Tammy. But you got until until we, we get them sanctified, get them into the get them into the Lord, get them eating out of the Lord's plate. Hallelujah! Where they can really begin to really receive something from the Lord and accept it and accept it in the heart. Hallelujah. See, God looks at the heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we get once they get Jesus in the heart, hallelujah, in the life, hallelujah, that's when we got to feed them the word. We got to feed them that word of life. Hallelujah. Yeah. That bread of life is something that you know is going to make them strong. And, and, and you know, you know, you can't, you can't keep them on the bottle all the time. Hallelujah. Yeah. That milk, it's got to go sooner or later. Hallelujah. We got to get them on something stronger than, 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 than that milk, put them on that meat, which is Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. And let them grow. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. But you know, I know churches that still so weak. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Man, I, now how much longer is that man going to preach milk to them? Or feed them milk? Hallelujah. They give people that have been in there for 10 years. They should be uh, eating up the word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, it's shame. But you know, uh, 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 all can be saved. He said, Who will call my name that can be saved? Amen. Amen. But getting them to call that name today. That's right. But what it is, the devil has got this world so confounded. But you know, there's no Jesus. That he's not coming back. That that the sinner that she that they did that thought, what the enemy just said, that enemy is going to kill all souls. Yeah. Hallelujah. The enemy going to put a lot of souls down in hell where he's a gone. Yeah. Hallelujah. But one thing about it today, you get under the blood of Jesus Christ, you got hey, you don't got to worry about no hell. But see, these people, when they hear some of this stuff that's being preached, brother, that's putting them back out into the world. They, they thinking in their mind, well, I don't got to live it today. I got I got a while to go yet. But see, that, 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 that word that they're getting, but what I'm saying, what once saved, always saved. Hallelujah, glory to God. But I'm going to tell you something today, folks. We don't know he could come before this service is over. That's right. But we're going to be ready. That's right. I had a brother that lives in football. I, he told me he was went to one church in Stephen City somewhere and said, the preacher told him, said, oh, we got plenty of time yet. I said, Melvin, I said, you didn't believe that, did you? I said, no wonder you keep going back to your alcohol, son. I said, come on, I'm about to sit on that good pile of the Holy Ghost up there. I said, I ain't going to make any danger. Oh, no, he said. But he know that I'm preaching the truth, and he don't want to hear it. He know I'm going to preach against that alcohol. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I didn't let alcohol take the place of my Jesus. Amen. I'm just so thankful. Such so thankful today. Hallelujah. And the Lord, I got to say, give me another strong wife in the Lord. I'm not picking her up this morning, folks, because she's my wife. I'm just saying she's a, she's a woman of God. 
She really kept me up. She really looks out. <laughs> well, sometimes I get in the word, I, 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 I see a different word than what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> but it's easy. When your eyes get blurry, sometimes you read yeah. enough, your eyes get blurry, and you, you think you uh, went through it the way it was, but you, you look back, it, it was a, a little bit different than what it's supposed to be. Because mm -hmm. one word mess up the whole scripture. Mm -hmm. I go back and reread. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I strive to be. Amen. I don't want to be mounted in parking Amen. <laughs> if I do, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> but Kevin, if we go in in perfect ones, we're going to get in trouble. Hallelujah. Laughing stock. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't but one Mr. Perfect. That's Jesus. Jesus. That's Jesus. Amen. Ain't but one Mr. Perfect than Jesus. I know better than you, you know better than me. We all serve the same God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm gonna read uh I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna read from forty four down a little bit and I'm gonna let you go. Said, no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up in the last day. Okay, let me read on. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God, of a man, therefore that has heard and has learned of the Father coming into me. I, I just preached him. We've got to give him something they, they can, that, that they can grow close to the Lord. Amen? Amen. And that's Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, not that any man has seen the Father, say he wishes of God, he has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. Amen. We got we, that believing here today. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Everlasting life. He said, because I am that bread of life. Yeah. Your fathers did eat man in, in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat of thereof and not die. Amen. See, his word tells us we can live and not die. Amen. You know, this word got protein in it. Amen. <laughs> How many know this word got protein in it? The reason I'm saying that, it makes you want to go back out the more. Yes. Got that good protein to it. Mm -hmm. it, it. See, you got something out of it that draw you right back to it. Right. Amen. Ain't like something that no, ain't drawing you back. That you, you're getting something here, you know, you might not go back to it. But when you get a hold of this right here, it's got good protein in it, and it's, it's going to draw you back up and down. Amen. Brother Frank got that good protein in it. That's right. Something's going to take us all the way. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And, and the bread that I will give him is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the whole world. Yes. And it sure did. Yes, it did. I'm just going to read a couple more. <coughs> I think we have it up here this morning. Then Jesus said unto them, Brother, brother, I say unto you, except you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Amen. Who shall order to eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life and will rise up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood develop in me and I am in him. Amen. As the living Father has sent me and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me even he shall live by me. We gotta live by, by that word. Mm -hmm. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat man and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live for us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And that's what the, that, I'm gonna stop. Make sure that we're getting the right word. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.
No artificial ingredient. That's it. That's right. Pure protein. <laughs> Healthy. Like, like you, you know, uh, I got two cattle, and I make sure to get the best. That's why I feel like the Lord. I got to give him my best. Because mm -hmm. he gives me the best. Well, aren't we not supposed to be eating uh, shrimp and clams and all that stuff down below the sea? Says it's the... Has he got any Bible? It is. The, unclean. Yeah, but unclean. In the New Testament... Paul yeah. said, "If you pray over it, yeah. and 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 ask God to to bless it, then it's okay. Bless it, it's clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, Peter, he, he he was getting in trouble with Jesus about that unclean stuff. But the Old Testament, they didn't believe in eating pork. That's right. But let me tell you something. We got to go by the New Testament. We're not living the Old Testament. It's it's God's word. Don't get me wrong. There's good stuff in it." It's all the word. It's all Jesus. But I had sat down. I knew a couple of preachers that really this afraid you shouldn't be eating that. That's why you eat it. He didn't know what to say. Because that joke know I've never seen him. I've never seen him at a certain restaurant. I knew what he was eating. I ain't no dummy. That's why you eat it. Oh, he turns his head, next thing you know, gone. <laughs> but I tell folks, I said, look, this life you live, you live your own life. You serve the same God I'm serving. But obey the scriptures. That scripture is 100% right. Like, but like you like to say, Paul, so many people that the day, I said, no. I said, the Lord said, when we pray, pray over, ask him to bless it, and it will be blessed yes. and made clean. Mm -hmm. Amen. I love a pork chop. Don't get me wrong. I do too. My mattress is in. 